Hey there, this is Daniel with Doll and Darty with May 2020's My Monthly Hero Card Kit. Hero Arts has an amazing new kit out this month featuring envelope art, stamps, and dies. These fantastic images are perfect for decorating your envelopes and creating cards. We're going to do both today. You can address your envelopes with some of these banners, and you'll see in my blog post as well lots of different cards I created with this. There are also lots of dies. Some of these are actually add-ons, but this uh, rainbow and clouds here that I'm picking up, that is part of the kit. And the little hello here on the bottom corner is also part of the kit. You'll see details of these on the blog post. All of these little die images are from the kit as well. And here are the projects I'm going to create now. Featuring a technique I learned this week, how to make a lightning background. Now I watched another YouTuber do this with watercolor, and he did uh, some different setups with this. But I'm going to use Hero Arts Hero Hues Reactive Inks and Blender Brushes to create a background with lightning in it. So I'm starting out by taping down some Legion watercolor paper to my workspace and then blending on the front of it with um, Grape Slush, Splash, and Blue Hawaii inks. These inks are fantastic for blending. You've seen me use them before, I'm sure. But I'm taking my time just adding a few layers here and there. I want to get the sky kind of foggy, kind of cloudy. It's not explicitly cloudy. You're not going to see actual clouds. And I just want to give the idea of maybe a stormy look. And here's some chalkboard ink from Hero Arts. I'm going to add this really dark black ink to the top of my sky using a picket fence blender brush you just have to be patient with these blending techniques because you don't want to in this one you don't want it to be splotchy so I I was gradually adding on that black ink and after cleaning my workspace up I transferred some unicorn white pigment ink from Hero Arts to my station and now I'm just going to splatter this background with some of this white pigment ink mixed with water now with the uniball white gel pen I'm going to just draw squiggly lines down the front smush it in with a little bit of water on a brush and then bring out my heat tool and on its lowest setting dry it then I'm gonna go back over that blurry lightning with some definition and then add some more in the background so it kind of looks like a double strike photograph of lightning there after peeling it off, get the reveal, you see I've done two of these backgrounds already. And there's this fantastic stamp, sentiment stamp in the kit that says there's always a rainbow at the end of every rain. And I think that's just fantastic. I like the double script that's in there. Two different kinds of fonts and there's this great little squished rainbow in the kit with an accompanying uh, fancy cut so i'm going to ink that up with some intensified black ink and then color it in with dark rainbow colors these are copic markers in blue violet blue green red yellow or yellow red and red violet. I'm going to get a really dark blue violet out here to do 
the uh, little sparkles or glimmers at the edge. But here on the bottom I'm using just regular violet and then I'm bringing some blue violet into uh, the very bottoms of these clouds. You'll see in a bit that I'm going to end up coloring the entire cloud with another very light violet color to blend them all in. But I do that after I pop it up on the front of this card uh, panel with some foam tape. Next I'm going to trim this down to five and a quarter by four inches. Something I love to do is pop up my card panel on some fun foam. So I'm going to add some blue fun foam to the back of this and then adhere it all to the front of my card base. And there I am just adding the finishing touches to those clouds with my lighter violet and that's the card. Let's head on to our envelope. I stamped it with some fun foam underneath because it helps get really nice coverage. And now I just taped it down to the front of my workspace and did the same process, creating a gradient of color from violet into a light blue at the bottom, transitioning with Hawaii or blue Hawaii ink. And then I add the chalkboard ink at the top this time, instead of splattering white pigment ink, I just drew in some specks there with my white gel pen, peeled it off, and then darkened up that, or defined that lightning a little bit more, adding another, another branch of that lightning, and then coming in with very simple colors again. I am mean, adding a bit of dimension to this rainbow, just a tiny bit. Uh, be, but I did want this to be a very dark kind of rainbow because we're having, uh, we're using kind of a night sky look or very dark thunderstorm cloudy sky look. So here I stamped the sentiment on my envelope, kindly delivered to. I'm adding actually one more line of color to my rainbow with a uh, fine liner pen and then filling in all the little gaps that I had from my ink blending there. Here is the finished project. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button. And If you'd like to shop, I've included links to all of the supplies in the description box below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.